How'd you like our singing last night? I, thought, I honestly, Miles, I think you're an excellent singer. That's, I was really like impressed. Angel. Hey everyone, we are here at stop number five of the MLF Pro Circuit event on the James River. Your boat is really it hot. Is. It, is, uh, it is hot out here. Guys, it's going to be like 90 something tomorrow, 97 on Friday. And I don't know, this is, so this is my take on this river. Coming here, I did not know what to expect. I thought we were going to be struggling to get some bites. In reality, it's a fish factory full yeah. of little fish. Man, and, and I know that it's also full of, of, you know, those three plus pounders too. I mean, people have talked all week long about catching, you know, a six. I've heard guys say that they, they saw an eight pounder in practice. You know, those are those are massive fish and this is a really, really healthy fishery. I mean, yeah, they, they stock it every year with Florida strain largemouth. So mm -hmm. we know that it catches or that there's potential to catch a big one. Mm -hmm. Did you find them in practice? I didn't. I didn't catch any big ones in practice. Uh, I've got. I've got one general area that I really feel good about having. Uh, you know, a good average size compared to the rest of the. Because I could go anywhere from blast off here at Osborne Landing all the way down to the Chickahominy, all the way up the Chickahominy, and I'm catching 12 and 13 inches like crazy. Like yesterday, I went out and all I caught was eight pounds but I caught 30 fish and I set the hook on all 30 of those fish. Cause as soon as I'd catch a two pounder, I was, I was saying I'd cut the hooks off at that point, but I never caught a two pounder. So you can go anywhere and catch a bunch of fish. It's just, you gotta, you gotta kind of figure out what you want to do camp out, not necessarily in an area, but you know, figure out what you want to do. Focus on that. Just weed through fish. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I really do think that if you, just keep weeding through them and and uh, fish high percentage areas. You got to have five opportunities at five quality fish. That's what I think. I want to agree with you. I do too. Like I, I, this is positivity right now in my head. Man, I mean, I it's a loud truck. It's B lat. <laughs> B lat. I want to say that you should be able to weed through the fish and get some quality bites. Right. I, think that is how you approach this place but I'm sure there's somebody out there that has it figured out where they're catching less fish but better right. quality I haven't found it you know I had boat troubles day one yesterday I went to the Chickahominy because I know that's a community area and there's a lot of fish there and I figured with only one day of practice I wanted to put myself around fish so that's what I did I went there and I think I had 50 to 60 bites yeah, that's a lot of bites. And I, I, unlike Miles, shake my fish off. And Dude, I, when they're all a pound to a pound and a half, not going to do me any good. I want to get those out of the way so I can focus on the three plus pounders. I, I, only, I only had a handful of bites that I think were quality. So it, it would a not. Handful is all you need. It wouldn't surprise me if both of us come in with 13 to 15 pounds. Like that wouldn't surprise 18 me. Pounds. 19, 20. I don't care. I want I want a big bag tomorrow. I do too. And I'm gonna fish my butt off to get it. I just don't know where those bites are gonna come from. That's the that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, and that's it, it, that's always kind of a big challenge. I love the tournaments where I know the area that I want to pick apart. I know that I've got the potential for a big bag. This is just not one of those tournaments that I know for a fact, based on my practice practice experience that that's the case. Like, I'm gonna have to really be efficient and and uh, and catch some breaks tomorrow to catch some of those bigger fish. I mean, that's just, yeah, that's I mean, how I feel. Well, no, the frustrating part is, from our discussions, both of us are fishing in a manner that are known big fish techniques. Yeah. Whether it's frog, flip, crankbait, chatterbait, and you're still catching those little guys. Yeah. So, it seems like every move I, I make, I just start catching a bunch of little ones. 
But again, I don't know if it's just because I'm, tr you know, in practice, you're doing a lot of different things to try to think outside the box a little bit. And especially yesterday when I caught a bunch of little ones, I was really trying to figure something else out. I didn't just sit and flip a lot of the banks. I, I spent a lot of time casting, covering water and things like that. So I, I honestly think that, that, you know, fishing, you know, the right type of cover, you know, keeping that flipping stick in my hand and occasionally picking up a top water, or maybe chatterbait, I've got to think that I'm gonna have the opportunities at some big fish. I, I didn't see it in practice. I had my first day was better than the second day, but it still wasn't like like man, they are they are really eating. Uh, and I've talked to a lot of guys that are, had the same experience. They caught a lot of 12 and 13 inches. Actually, no, not that big. Yeah, 12 and 13 inches. But I've also talked to a lot of guys that caught those good quality fish. They can go ahead and catch those good quality fish in practice. I don't, you know, good on them. I, I want them tomorrow and, and Friday because Saturday is the day that I want to get to. Uh, you know, I'm far enough down in the points where I need two top 50s to make the championship. And so I need to make sure that, that I've got a top 50 average over the next two tournaments. So I don't care about, you know, just catching a limit. I don't care about, um, you know, catching 12 pounds. I want that 14 pound an average per day um, to, to kind of seal the deal for this tournament. Yeah, I agree completely. We are uh, both in very, very similar positions. We need to catch them. Yeah, and 100%. And catching 59 inches isn't gonna do it for us. So I don't, I mean, I, I think I can see myself really putting the battleborn batteries to the test tomorrow because with the tide oh, incoming gosh. yeah and and outgoing you're always in current so you need to have good trolling motor yeah. like the battleborns and i think we're going to be covering a lot of water trying to put ourselves in position to make it to uh champlain to have a shot at yeah. champlain let me tell it say this because you just put in a, a shameless plug there I did but, but it's true but no but Monday I spent the longest day I think I've ever spent on the water uh, I went from uh, what 5 16 in the morning to 9 o'clock in the evening that's the longest day that I could ever remember and those those batteries never once in that heavy current gave up uh, I have yet to run them down Dude, you can go days. Yeah, I have yet like, to I'm not worried about one day anymore. And I just talked about another, to another guy that had a different, uh, you know, different set of, of uh, lithium batteries. And he couldn't say that about his batteries. But the Battleborns have been just rock solid for me. Well, guys, that is our James River intro. 